Hello and welcome to another update video about ICP. The overall structure on the ICP chart hasn't really changed. Um, we are still in this choppy uptrend from the 23rd of January low. Doesn't really give me a clear long trade setup. I mean, I think it was a couple of weeks ago or so when I shared with you one to two weeks ago when I shared with you here a support zone against which we could still focus on higher in the short term, but it is within the context of what I believe looks and counts best as a B wave. So obviously we had some kind of a top in place. If that was a wave one or an A wave here, it doesn't really matter in the short term. Um, the idea is that the pullback for what would be a wave two or a B wave was quite shallow. And therefore, I'm actually watching for potentially a more extended correction at the moment here. Um, we have an A wave down, like this A wave. Here, possibly now a B wave to the upside. And then a C wave down. It's, it's still my preference, not because I want the price to come down, but just because, I mean, it hasn't done anything to confirm anything more directly bullish. Yeah. Um, the move from the lows, from the 23rd of January low, is clearly corrective. Uh, as you can see here, a lot of overlapping price action. I mean, it can always go up. Anything can happen. But it's about, you know, trading what's clear. And I think I had it in the previous video labeled as an ABC structure, giving it a chance to move a little higher in the B wave. But overall, that doesn't change the structure. I think the subdivisions have changed more towards what yeah, what counts best as a WXY. So what is the difference? In a WXY structure, we're only dealing with three waves. So also in the Y wave, in every sub wave, we're dealing with three waves. So I've got three waves in wave W. I've got three waves in wave X. And I've got three waves in wave Y. All right, and that could still stretch a little higher. But um, the difference between the WXY and an ABC is that the C wave would be a five wave move. So it would it can still stretch higher. I have no confirmation that a top is in, but I think at the moment it counts best as a WXY. And it would take a break minimally below $11.20. That would be really the minimum point to confirm that the C wave down has started. So I have, have no confirmed top in place here, but you see that it's certainly it's trying to push higher but it's getting more difficult and here it actually hasn't double top yeah um so it's trying to push higher but it just can't really you know and i mean maybe maybe it will continue to move higher as i said as, as long as we don't break below the x wave low i don't have a confirmed top in place in wave b and to be honest it would look better to move a little higher in the next resistance area structurally is at $14.20. And if we're measuring um, the length of wave W and compare that to a length of wave Y, then it would be ideal for the price to actually reach the 100% extension level. That's typically an ideal target for a Y wave, but we're not there. Actually, which level does it or did it reach? Probably, yeah, the 61.8 extension. I mean, that is that is a rel not reliable, but it is a valid target for a Y wave, also for a C wave, to reach only the 61.8 retracement, no extension, but it's just very shallow. It's not so reliable. It is valid, okay, and, but it would be a very shallow Y wave. Nevertheless, we should consider it, and that's why I'm watching, um, first of all, micro support, previous structural support, the previous swing low, here $12.58. Below that, this previous swing low is 11.50. And then, yeah, the 11.20 level. I mean, below that, I haven't got anything, you know, bullish left. Even, even now, I mean, the most bullish structure I could imagine is that even if it comes down lower, that it finds support again in the orange box. But I would definitely give the downtrend then the benefit of the doubt if we see a break below 11.20. Obviously, it would need to do more to eventually confirm the C wave down, but it would be an indication that the C wave is unfolding with a break of that level. Obviously, a break below the A wave level, that would be confirmation. That's at 9.55, and then we can see support at around 8.40, 6.82, 5.54. Where exactly it will land, that depends a little bit on how high this corrective rally went. Um, but yeah, I mean, 
you clearly see it. The move down was corrective. Okay, that keeps the door open for higher. But the move up is corrective. That typically suggests that a larger correction is at hand. Of course, something different can unfold here. And I'm still... Um, I, I'm, I'm still keeping an open mind if I see anything different emerge here, but there's certainly no clear, let's say, bullish setup here as we had it on some other charts recently, like, for example, the Matic chart, and as we're still observing it on, on some other altcoin charts. But don't get me wrong, the majority of altcoin charts doesn't really give us bullish, um, bullish setups that are clear. There's only a minority, which we're obviously observing. Um, yeah, but that's my update about uh, ICP. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.